could Nikola Tesla have found a portal or gateway to the real possibilities of time travel? Why, the day after his death, would the FBI have collected all the documents in his apartment? Could Tesla's brilliant ideas be the result of his possible contact with extraterrestrial beings? It is speculated that Tesla was a great appreciator of Hermeticism and that his contact with the spiritual world was probably more likely than we imagine. Contacts with angelic figures and even telepathic messages with his late mother are among his accounts. Was all his genius a result of his contact with a superior intelligence? Could this be why Tesla is so misunderstood even today? In 1895, during research with his transformer, a device he invented called the Tesla coil, one of Tesla's most significant contributions to the field of electrical engineering, he got his first indications that time and space could be influenced through the use of highly charged magnetic fields. Part of this revelation came from his experiment with radio frequencies and the transmission of electrical energy through the atmosphere. Years later, Tesla's simple discovery would lead to the famous but controversial Philadelphia experiment, an alleged secret project that is said to have taken place in October 1943 during World War II. According to the story, the US Navy conducted a classified experiment at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard with the assistance of Tesla due to his reputation as a brilliant inventor and his work with electromagnetism to render the USS Eldridge, a destroyer escort, invisible to radar and also to teleport it from Philadelphia to Norfolk, Virginia. The experiment has not been officially confirmed, but continues to instigate speculation and curiosity. But even before these alleged top-secret military programs, Tesla would have made some fascinating discoveries about the nature of time and the real possibilities of time travel. With his experiments in high voltage and magnetic fields, the inventor suggested that time and space could be violated or warped creating a door that could lead to other moments of time. According to reports, Tesla's first experience with time travel happened in March 1895. A reporter from the New York Herald wrote on March 13th that he had met the inventor in a small cafe and he seemed shaken after being hit by 3.5 million volts, Tesla said. I don't think I'm going to be a pleasant companion tonight. The fact is, I almost died today. The spark shot a meter through the air and caught me here on the right shoulder. Had my assistant not turned off the current instantly, it could have been the end of me. In contact with the resonance of the electromagnetic charge, he was displaced from his space-time reference. He reported that he could see the past, present and future all at the same time but he was paralyzed within the electromagnetic field, unable to help himself. His assistant, turning off the power, saved Tesla before permanent damage was done. The repetition of this experiment would occur years later during the alleged Philadelphia experiment, when Tesla, together with the experiment team, would have managed to teleport the ship through space and time. In 1899, Nikola Tesla built a laboratory in Colorado Springs to experiment with high-frequency electricity and other phenomena. In this laboratory, he received and recorded cosmic radio waves. He claimed to have received extraterrestrial signals. However, the scientific community in 1899 did not believe him as knowledge of cosmic radio signals did not exist at that time. My brain is just a receiver, he said. In the universe, there is a core from which we draw knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not delved into the secrets of this core, but I know it exists. Tesla said he never forgot the first sensations he experienced when he observed something with incalculable possible consequences for humanity. He felt as if he were present at the birth of new knowledge or the revelation of great truth. 
My first observations, he said, positively terrified me because there was something mysterious about them, not to say supernatural, and I was alone in my laboratory at night, not having yet thought of these disturbances as intelligently controlled signals. The changes he noticed were occurring periodically and with such a clear suggestion of number and order that they could not be traced to any cause known to him. He was familiar, of course, with such electrical disturbances produced by the Sun, Aurora Borealis, Earth currents, and he was sure that these variations did not arise from any of these causes. The nature of his experiments excluded the possibility of the changes being produced by atmospheric disturbances, as has been rashly asserted by some. It was a short time later when the thought crossed his mind that the disturbances he observed might be due to intelligent control. Though I could not at the moment decipher their meaning, he said, it was impossible for me to think of them as something entirely accidental. I have a constant feeling that I am the first to hear the greeting from one planet to another. There was a purpose behind these electrical signals. Some studies attribute to him the invention of the first machine to search for alien signs. It is a wireless transmitter that sends radio waves directed to distant points of the solar system, to the development of which he devoted a great deal of his capacity and time. All his life, Tesla sought a way to contact extraterrestrial intelligence, and according to accounts, there was one time when he believed he detected a signal. This is what happened in the summer of 1899 while working in his laboratory in Colorado Springs. Tesla was able to observe a series of numerical codes in cosmic radio signals, which he interpreted as evidence of intelligence coming from Mars or Venus. A year later, when asked by the Red Cross to make a prediction about what man's greatest discovery of the 20th century would be, Tesla wrote, I have observed electrical actions that seem inexplicable. Vague and uncertain as they were, they brought me a deep conviction that it will not be long before human beings on this planet, united, will turn their eyes towards the firmament, with feelings of love and reverence, excited by the happy news. Humanity, we have a message from another world, unknown and remote. In a piece published by the New York Times in 1937, Tesla announced that he had perfected a new and compact apparatus in which considerable amounts of energy could be fired through interstellar space to any distance without any dispersion. This gave rise to the legend of the Tesla scope, mentioned by his disciple Arthur Matthews, but whose existence was never confirmed. Taking into account that much of what Tesla said and invented sounded unusual or extravagant, to soon become science of great power, it would not be exaggerated if we paid some attention to his possible contact with extraterrestrial life. It is also speculated that Tesla was versed in the hermetic sciences and probably used them as a source of inspiration. It is said that he had knowledge of numerological secrets and even attributed supernatural qualities to the numbers 3, 6 and 9. That he understood the plane spatial geometry that shaped the fabric of reality, how the frequencies of energetic vibrations can shape reality itself, based on the simple assumptions that everything that exists is energy and is in constant vibration. While searching for solutions for wireless transmission of electricity, Tesla met Sir William Crookes, discoverer of the ability of matter to radiate energy. He believed that humans could communicate telepathically if they were tuned into the same high-frequency brainwave. At first, Tesla was skeptical of this, but that changed one night when Tesla had one of his visions. I saw a cloud carrying angelic figures, he said one of which gradually took on my mother's features, and in that instant, I knew for sure that no words could explain. My mother had just died, and that was true. Tesla was convinced that, at that moment, his mother would be tuned to a particular frequency. This experience would influence his work and his worldview from then on, giving Nikola Tesla an esoteric side in which he believed that people were like antennas, 
that they could receive information, some from external sources, like other worlds, planes, or even different levels of consciousness. He believed that there was a global information bank, something like a source of knowledge. When Tesla passed away, authorities gathered an impressive amount of material. Part of this material was handed over to the inventor's family after some time, another part ended up in a museum dedicated to his memory. And until recently there were still documents that had never been released to the public, which led many people to speculate about the content of these inventions kept secret, such as the death ray, weather weapons, etc. However, recently the FBI released, in a section of its website called FBI Records, The Vault, a dossier on Tesla in three parts, totaling 354 pages and covering the period from 1856 to 1943, available for anyone who wants to read it. However, the question that remains is, did the FBI release everything it had? Or did it keep strategic documents secret, releasing only a part without much relevance to demystifying the subject and end curiosity? Tesla's enigmatic life suggests that our lives may be much more connected to the spiritual world than we realize. Perhaps all our actions are actually a result of influences from enlightened beings with the aim of preventing the extinction of our planet? and committed to the true evolution of the human species. If you are interested in learning more about the occult and mysterious events in humanity, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you never miss any new videos.